going to leave this other side because it's going to be in a different color. Actually, let's rinse out your tiny little brush and we're going to mix up a little tiny bit of pink. And so on this side, we'll come back around and we'll come out a little bit and just kind of down and connect so it's like that shape. And then we'll build it up a little bit more. So you can put that little brush in the water. Okay. So inside here, I'm going to break that space up a little bit and I'm going to just go to my blue and I'm going to add a little bit of blue right inside there. And so say that's too solid and you want to soften it, you can take your brush, clean brush, and just brush over top and blend it in with the paint that's already there. You can also take a little bit of white paint and brush over top of it as well. So with our tiny brush, you can go back into the first purple that we used here, and we're just gonna add a few more wisps, flicks, And then towards the bottom, we're going to add the stem. Okay, it's looking a little bit funny right now, but... And I'm going to make the rest of it a little bit of a darker purple, so I'm going to take a little bit more red and blue and mix it up into the color I already have. And I'm just coming up above the blue that we put down. And I'm going back over to top of the line that we just did. Now I'm going to take a little bit of white and without rinsing my brush, a little bit of blue underneath that. I'm going to brush right up against it. Now this feather behind me has a little bit of orange. I'm going to skip that because I actually don't really like the orange in it. Um, so I'm just going to rinse out my brush dab it on my napkin, and then I'm going to take a little bit of my pink, and if I want it to be less pink and a little bit more of a pinky purple, you can take a little bit of blue and mix it in with it. So I'm going to take this pink and come back in that space. So you'll see that it doesn't blend all that well together. This pink is quite solid, so I can take a little tiny bit of white and come back in. Just adding some of that pink over off to the other side. Okay, and with the brush that I have, or you can go to your tiny little brush, we're just going to add some wisps, some flicks. OK, 
Okay, and I'm gonna come back with my little brush and add some more wisps into there as well. And on the other side. You can really use any color that you have. Okay, so there's the three feathers for right now. We're going to build it up. All right, so we're going to be adding a lot of detail here. So you're going to take your little tiny brush and a little bit of white paint, and we're going to go right down the center of each feather. And so you'll see that I'm not going straight down like this. I'm following the curve of the feather and adding it kind of wonky. So I'm not going straight down like so. I'm going to follow the curve of the feather. So this detail I'm going to be do in dark blue. If you want a navy navy blue, so I'll show you for example up here, there's my blue. If you want it to be darker you can mix a little bit of black with it or you could do a dark purple so you can mix up a little bit of red in with your blue to make a dark, dark purple. So I'm just going to add these circles right towards the top. So this detailing you can follow along and do it exactly, or you can go rogue and do your own details, whatever you wish to do. So I'm going to do two and then two at the top and then four at the bottom in one row. I'm going to leave a little bit of space and then just dab with my lines or dab with my brush across. Now towards the top here, right underneath, I'm going to do a bunch of diamond shapes. So you can do like an A and then a V. And you're just gonna fit whatever you have space there for. And then in between this, you're going to add more diamonds. So in between these two, I'm going to come below and add a diamond there. And I'll do one more row. Now coming towards the bottom, I'm going to do right along that white line, I'm going to do a triangle, and then another triangle on the other side. And then diamonds across for that. going to fill that in. And we're going to do a dash line above that. And so it's going to have a little bit of a curve. 
in terms of how we do it. Okay, and above that, we're going to do another diamond shape. And that gets filled in. And an outer line. Okay, two lines. And then at the top here. We're just going to do more diamonds. They're not precise. They're quite messy. But from a distance, you don't see that. And then I'm just going to do two rows of small lines on a little bit of an angle, like so. Okay, so this section here has a little bit more of green coming through. Um, We'll do that in a second, actually. Let's stick with the color that we have. And so above here, I'm going to do a dotted, dashy line with a bit of a curve. Not a dotted, but a dash. And then in this space, I'm going to make it more of a green. So I'm going to take a little bit of my blue and mix it in with my yellow. So I've added a little bit of white to it as well to make it a little bit more turquoisey. And so from here, there's just kind of these dots. That fill in this space randomly. And so it tapers off and you get less the farther down you go. And then we're going to do a row of diamonds in this green. So there is, and we're going to start at the top here, and we're going to do two triangles. You can fill those in. And just the line on each side. And you can do a little dot around the top. I'm going to go right below that and do another diamond, just a little bit bigger. do the line outside. And then over to the left side and the right side, I'm going to do another diamond. And lines. Again, around that, but I'm not filling that in.
I'm going to leave a little bit of a space and do an even bigger diamond. Another line on the outside of it. And then right at the point where it comes out, I'm just going to do little dotted lines with my brush. And along the side here, I'll do little diamonds. Leaving a little space again, another diamond. Outline. And then this just has some lines, diagonal. This is diagonal this way. Moving down. And then we're going to have a blue dotted line that just goes kind of like a happy face. So it's these dots that are coming around and curving like so. What you want to do is mix up a reddish purple color. So you're going to take a little bit of blue and mix it in with your red. You can add a little bit of white to it to lighten it up. But this color I'm going to use just to add a little bit more detail in here. So I'm just doing some dots with my brush. You can also flip your brush around and dot that way if you want. So you could dip it in the paint and then dot on if you want it to be more precise. And then I'm just going to do the same right below here in this space. And it's just going to be really random, kind of rows, but not even. If you really want to and you feel like there's another space that's bare, then just go back in and add where you wish. So this last one that we're going to do is we're going to start in the center and we're going to add a triangle just like that. And then we're going to add four more going up and it's going to get smaller as you move up. So there's one, two, three, and now this next one is going to be tiny. I'm going to add an outline on just this one. And then on this side, in that area, I'm going to add a diamond here and a diamond there. And I'm going to go below and add a diamond and another diamond. So 
So inside, I'm going to flip my brush around. I'm going to dip it in the color. And I'm going to add these little circles inside. And then I'm going to add a bunch of dots. Just randomly. I'm going to take the same as this color here and I'm going to add a little bit more detail on this feather here. So towards the bottom I'm going to do another triangle and then lines out. And below that just a bunch of little triangles. So I'm going to take my brush again, flip it upside down, and I'm going to add a bunch of random white dots along the left side. And if you want some random white dots spread throughout, you can do that as well. If you want to add more of a pattern to it, you can do that too. Whatever's going to float your boat. I'm going to come back and add white dots right in the circles. And, and there you have it. There is your feather painting.